Hello, my name is Luke and today we're going to be talking about cargo decks coming out in 3.11. We're going to be talking about what it brings to the, uh, to the verse and what, uh, what it is and uh, how impactful cargo decks can be in Star Citizen. So CRG describe cargo decks like this. Cargo decks are facilities within rest stops where players can handle all the, their cargo needs from dropping off and picking up, buying new cargo equipment and taking on cargo related missions. And that's actually quite important, cargo related missions and new cargo equipment and I'll get into that soon but CRG is basically saying that this is going to be a, a facility and within a rest, drop, uh, rest stops and um, it's going to give us more new gameplay options for cargoing. So this is mainly focused for cargo haulers. We're sure that's really the people who are going to be uh, wanting this and is going to be excited for this. If you're not a cargo hauler and you have no intention to be um, a cargo hauler, this might not be the best uh, uh, thing to look forward to because this is very focused cargo hauling and you know doing cargo missions. Of course it's going to be a cool place to look around when it comes out. A lot of lo new, new lo lo locations are, but um, when it comes to the function and what this is supposed to do, it's very very focused at cargo hauling. Of course it's called cargo decks. Now I just said that it is very focused at cargo hauling, but what about box missions? Could box missions come into uh, more cargo decks? I think this would be really good. Box missions generally you going down to a planet, getting a box, getting out that planet, going to the next planet and retrieve, uh, depositing the box. It takes a lot of time just to get um, 15k most, what's it, a legal one I think. Um, 15k for just boxes, it takes a lot of time, it's quite boring. What's going to minimise the time? Uh, space stations you could quickly land on a space station quickly get in the space station it's it's much more quicker so maybe uh for people who want to who are doing box missions so this is your people basically got the uh, mustang and they've got the aurora oh the mustang can't do box missions don't know if you can do a mustang uh, have a mustang but if you have an aurora or you have a an avenger maybe um, this could be actually quite helpful to you when box missions uh, if box missions do come out in uh, round cargo decks it will shorten the time um, don't know about the legal ones but it will definitely shorten the time for uh, you guys I think that would be pretty good however this is if you're a cargo hauler right now you have to be really really excited I think for this uh, change since 3.0 cargo has been very very similar apart from more places to go and and um, the changes of prices since 3.0 it's been pretty much the same you go and get cargo at a low price and then you go and sell it for a high price that is it that's cargoing by the way it's going from Lawville to get some scrap to Port Alistair to sell the scrap then go to selling to buy some diamonds and then going back to Lawville and selling it for a high price. That is cargoing right now. That's not really that in depth. You know, it can get very repetitive after a while and you might go, ah, you know, I'm getting a lot of money, but hey, I, I want to go and do some, some bounty hunting missions. I want to go and mine. So unless you're a really dedicated cargo hauler, this could spice a bit, spice some bits up. And of course I'm going to test how you want. So the first thing I'm quite interested in is when it said cargo missions. What does this mean? Will we go and up to a mission board or on the maybe glass? That's what it's going to be. And we go pick up this amount of diamonds at this location and then come back and sell it at the, uh, or go in there. Uh, deposit it at this cargo deck or please take this car cargo and go down to Lawville or go down to area 18 and we'll give you some money for it um, I think this could 
spice it a little bit up it can change things um, we might have some interesting missions we don't know how in depth these missions will be but they definitely said uh, cargo missions coming out it could be quite boring it could just be another route to go for okay are we going to be able can we sell this off and somewhere else and get bad reputation we don't know um, but this could give us something more to do than just go from one uh, l look at a video watch a video and uh, go okay that's the cargo route let's do this cargo route for ages it could change it up a bit um, I think it would be pretty cool next thing I want to talk about is that guild um, in I think it was inside Star Citizen they said you might get guild discounts so if you're in a guild or in the cargo guild or a trading guild um, you're going to be able to have a discount on buying prices what's well, definitely what cargo if you want to do hauling this is you this is what you got to do this is maximum profit basically but this could be tied into what I just said about the missions maybe to get into this guild you have to do a lot of cargo missions and eventually your reputation will start getting up and up and up and then eventually they go okay you can come into this guild we're going to give you a discount you could start trading um diamonds we for about five five uec at each uh, unit maybe we don't know but um i think this would be really cool it could you know for the missions to get okay we need to get more reputation and then eventually you'll get into this guild and uh, and uh, you'll be making a lot of profit out of that and if you're a cargo hauler this is something to work towards this is something to feel uh, some achievement afterwards and I think it'll be really really interesting to just to see how the, this is going to be implemented how long it's going to take is it going to take an hour hour of missions no or is it going to uh, take a day or so is it going to be different stages of the guild okay you you're on stage one guild for example you've done an hour of these missions your reputation is going up but we'll give you a little bit of a discount but only on these certain or pro, on these certain cargo uh certain assets or whatever um and then eventually you you just do more missions and more missions and we'll go, okay now you're stage three you can do you can get the lowest prices at that every uh, everything we sell that could be really cool i think this will be really interesting to see how this guild system is going to work interesting to see if it comes out uh in 3.11 i really i really think it would i have mentioned it um so yeah so another thing that it said in the description was cargo equipment now this could be uniforms we don't know this could be uniforms like to look like one of those workers that are walking around in the pictures this could be a attachment for the multi-tool or it could be its own tool um i expect it to be a multi-tool it's the whole point of the multi-tool so it could be attachment to go for the multi-tool and we've seen in the past um a guy I, i've got a picture of it hopefully it's shown up hopefully i did that in the editing hit a guy clamping onto a big box and I guess he eventually will start dragging it this comes into the other gameplay feature a push and pull and it's a guy leaning on a uh, leaning on some cargo it looks like and um, this could definitely be connected with our uh, cargo decks and the equipment that cargo decks will be uh, selling and I think this has a, a little bit more implement uh, different gameplay and cargo i'll talk about what i th uh, think this can do uh this gameplay of pushing and pulling in the future when i do the push and pull uh gameplay feature but right now we're going to talk about the cargo aspect of it this can be very good this can be more interesting it could liven it up and spicing up somebody's day if they're not just going to go up to a thing and say click um sell cargo they might have to pull the cargo out in some missions then some missions they might have to pull cargo out um 
they might have to, if they do cargo injury, in some areas might have to force you to land, pull the cargo out, go to an area and dump the cargo there and you might get a bonus, you might get more reputation for that guild system what I just mentioned. We don't know yet, of course. It's, I'm just theorizing here. But um, having this extra equipment to do, having uh, push and pull mechanics could be quite interesting to see. It could go the wrong way, however, if someone goes off, oh, now I've got to push out all my cargo out, oh my goddamn star fare, this is going to take me years to do. Yeah, it could be a bit bad, but overall, um, I think this is, could be a positive. Again, I'll, when I get to the push and pull uh, gameplay feature, I will also talk about what this can also be uh, uh, due to the verse. But right now, for cargo, this could make it a bit more spicier. But it could give you more reputation for this guild system they've talked about. We don't know yet. Um, I'm eager to see what this is going to be and uh, what we're going to uh, see out of it. We don't know if that comes out. However, we don't know if it will come out in 3.11. Again, this is a equipment that also needs this push and pull mechanic out. If the, that one gets delayed, we're not going to get this uh, cargo equipment, I I believe. So the next thing that could be coming out with uh, cargo decks is this trading app they've been talking uh, are talking about. This trading app has been talked that you can trade cargo from from you to your mates or from you to someone else. Why do you want to do this? It could be a, a profit margin. Maybe you go down to Trevor Myers. You uh, buy diamonds for. Five, uh, 585 you go up to Port Isle of Stars cargo deck you find someone else there who's like trying to get diamonds for real cheap and you go hey I'll sell you my diamonds that I've got full stock over here I'll sell you for 65 you can go and sell that to Lawville and you go and sort of sell it to the next cargo deck somewhere or 75 or 8 or whatever how much it will be at the time um, 735 I believe all right now so sell it down to get to Lawville to sell it for 35 and that this guy actually gets the cargo now he can get it uh, nego maybe negotiate it a bit cheaper because maybe he's gone to uh, Trevor Myers after you and you inflated the price and now he needs to go to you and say hey can I have some of this maybe maybe that's an option to do uh, it could also just be trading with your mates so oh hey can I uh, take some of your cargo and I'll give you some money for it? I'm sure, whatever. Um, we could also see smuggling or some sort of drug uh, trade. Uh, you'll just come from uh, Yella, Yella, that's it. And you've got some widow from that jump town or whatever. And you're going up and your mate is up there and you, you might want to like have a better option of selling this good so you trade some of half the half the drugs to your mate and then your mate goes off then you go off and then if someone if a police pulls one of you over at least the other half's got got drugs they actually still make profit um or some profit at least so this could be an option for a lot of people who want to do drug smuggling could be a smuggler you could go in there with a normal ship come out put it into a, the uh, Mercury Star Runner that's supposed to be a smuggling ship and uh, he'll fly off and then you go back down and then he comes back and he, he, there's some option here with a actually there's actually a reason why this thing can actually help out a lot of people it's definitely especially for the trade guild maybe if you're in a trade guild and you'll get in um, lower prices say the averages for diamonds is 585 uh, because you're the trade guild you're getting it for five maybe you can buy it for five and then go to this guy and say hey do you want to do you want to buy my diamonds for 5.5 i know you can't you ain't, you're not in a guild right now but i can trade you this for a lot cheaper than you go i'm still going to get a 0.5 profit by could be sitting here and stay in there um or just going a short journey Maybe this could be an option for a lot of people. 
So yeah, I definitely see this uh, thing being helpful in some way. Obviously, the reason why trading app is a, is more hyped up is because you can trade money to each other. I have no idea why this is not being in the game. Even like a, a tier zero version of this in the game right now, especially after the mole coming out. Um, however, this that's just how it is right now. We are getting a trading app. This is why I think we should see it in 3.10. Just if we can see this trading app. Just with the money. Hopefully. So yeah that's going to be quite impactful. That's not really due, due to the cargo decks. That's just, just what's needed. So, so the last thing that uh, these cargo decks can do. Is rent cargo containers. Maybe in the future. I don't think this is going to be when the, in 3.11. But in the future you can rent rent these containers that you can store uh, items or I don't know maybe be able to shift these items maybe we'll wait for the money to jump right up in a different market area stuff like this this could actually give high level haulers who really know what they're doing with the market something something to, uh, an option to actually store some stuff and actually go and do some other bits uh, not worried to their ship blowing up or uh, getting taken by uh, pirates um, so this could actually be quite uh, big now with the cargo containers renting cargo containers that's in the very near future what I like to saw heard when uh, this was talked about was renting cargo ships I mean why not now we can actually go to a space station instead of going all the way down to Lawville and finding the cargo ship you want or, and realizing it's not there and after going all the way over to area 18 and um, get the cargo ship there maybe now we've got cargo ships being able to rent in a cargo area you expect this to, you expect the loads of the ships to be rented down there is going to be cargo ships um, so I think this could be really big. It could also mean that because they said this, more cargo ships be able to be rent for a lot of people. Um, we know we've got the three lots max we can rent. However, we can't rent the Caterpillar. What's the biggest cargo ship in the game right now? That's the one that's making a lot of money. And yet we can't rent it yet. So people who want to try out cargo in and really enjoy it, but don't want to spend the $200 to get the Caterpillar at certain times of the year, yeah i think this will be quite big uh, for a lot of people also the hercules if that comes out in uh, 3.11 that could be quite big for a lot of people because if that does come out 3.11 i think that'll be the, the biggest cargo uh, vessel uh, out there um and ever cargo ship there could just be more options for a lot more people who want to get into cargo want to get into this cargo hauling and want to try out all these new things I've just told you about I think this would be really really grateful if we can see some cargo ships be able to rent at a cargo deck so to round up all this whole video I believe cargo decks will give up an extra tier to cargo hauling and that's what I think it can it could give cargo haulers a lot more things to think about a lot more things to do that make cargo a bit more interesting than just going to one place to, uh, buying low and selling high to another place I think that's what this cargo whole reason why we're getting this whole cargo business is because of that this would be really cool I'm really excited because I'm doing cargoing right now I own a Starfarer um, and I'm cargoing in a Starfarer right now and it does get very repetition and I hope this just fixes this issue or gives me a bit more gameplay options uh, in the future um yeah if you like this video press the like if you didn't like this video press the dislike if you want if you want to uh, have any uh, if you've got your opinion on the cargo decks there's comments uh, in the below I, I do talk in the comments i make sure i reply to everybody else it's quite easy right now because it's not getting a hundred comments so I can uh, I can definitely reply to yours uh, for sure um, I hope you guys stay safe due to the pandemic and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>